Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel, The Tiful Certain Devotional Guys. I would like to shout out the Palayan Pursuit Channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional premiere natin. Shout out to God bless to Honey Villos, Francis Laiko, Yorica De La Cruz, Alea Bonani, Heidi Leones, Ivy Gaiti, Karin Bakaron, Michael Aburita, Yes TV, Connie Blog, SSC TV of Korea, Heart Ponsalan, Jocelyn Costudio, Seisha Love, Rosel Badong, Pamilya Agan Channel, P. Hubs, Retro Blog, Jamaica Daing, Pearl, Pansoy, Daniel, Ab uh, Nathaniel Abelia, Francis Sakin, Digital Blogger, Estrella Jane Kison, Mikaela Lazaro, Rika May Palma, Franz Shandog, Andre Abanit, Jane Pador, Emilito Ras, Crystal Joy Balbueno, Emmanuel Lamangin, Blessery Chavez, Ken Fernandez, Jay Dariada, John Selros Magdasal, Kirby Imba, Carl James Ballesteros. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay manood sa premiere but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. TV Guys, this days more to go. Pasko na, no? So, grabe na talaga yung preparation natin, ano? Ano ba yung mga plano ninyo na gagawin para sa uh, Christmas Eve, no? In celebration for God's birthday. Sana mayroon para ma-enjoy tayo, no? Ma-enjoy yung family, together with uh, mga friends, kung sino man yun, no? Invite me also, so I can go to your, <laughs> to your houses and eat, no? Biro lang. Okay, so I'm far, no? I'm here in Cagayan de Oro, but uh, uh, I, I just stay here in Cagayan. Pag uh, walang klase, no? I guess it's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open a Bible to Psalms 119, verses 105 to 112. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Psalms 119, uh, verses 105 to 112 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Have taken an oath and confirm it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much, preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Do I constantly take my life in my hands? I will not forget your laws. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Amen and amen. <clears throat> I guess it's not pray. True God, that your word is a lamp and to my feet. May your word also be the lamp of the feet and to the feet of those who are here, O Lord. Yes, Lord, without you being our lamp, O Lord, we will really struggle. We will really stumble. But thank you that during the time and the stumble kami, you raise us up at pinalakan mo kami. You heal us from the pain. Thank you, dear God, for your presence. You are truly a big God, a God so powerful, a God who owns us. You are the owner of everything. Lord, even as uh, Christmas Day is coming, may you fill our heart with joy, a joy that comes from you as you continue to live with you. Amen and amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Psalms 119 verse 5 and it says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. 
So the title of our devotion for this single days is God's Compass. During World War II, Waldemar Siminov was serving as a junior engineer aboard the SS Alcoa Guide when nearly 300 miles off the coast of North Carolina, a German submarine surfaced and opened fire to the ship. The ship was hit, caught fire, and began to sink. Siminov and his crew lowered a lifeboat into the water and used the vessel compass to sail towards the shipping lanes. After three days, a patrol plane spotted their lifeboat and the USS Broom rescued the man the next day. Thanks to the compass, Siminov and 26 other crew members were saved. The psalmist reminded God's people that they were equipped with a compass for life, the Bible. He compares scriptures to a lamp in Psalms 119-105 that provides light to illuminate the path of life for those pursuing God. When the psalmist was adrept in the chaotic waters of life, he knew God could use scriptures to provide spiritual longitude and latitude and help him survive. Thus, he prayed that God would send us his light to direct him in life and bring him safely to the port of his holy presence in Psalms 43, 3. As believers in Jesus, when we lose our way, God can guide us by the Holy Spirit and by the direction found in the scriptures. May God transform our hearts and minds as we read the Bibles, study it, and follow its wisdom. Amen and Amen. Oh guys, I do not know how to live without the Bible because I do consider the Bible as the lamp to my feet, no? as a guide, as a map. No? Kasi, <clears throat> sabi ko, Lord, how would I live in a day pag walang Bible, pag walang direction? Siguro palpak, no? Kaya, nag-experiment ako, guys, na one day, hindi ako nagbasa ng Bible before rising up, no? Anong nangyari, palpak talaga yung day ko. Kaya, the best thing to do is, we have to start our day reading the Bible, meditate on it, and then, imuni-muni natin yung word, and then live by the word for that day. And then, in the evening, praise God. Evaluate yourself. Na-apply mo ba yung word na sinabi ni Lord uh, sa'yo? Nagawa mo ba? And then, praise God for it. Once you do it, guys, everything is uh, ironed out for good. Si Lord na ang bahala doon. And I know God is really working. Kaya for me, Bible is really important. It is really the compass of my life. It is no the guide of my life. Kung ano yung gagawin ko for the whole day. Kaya, yun. I cannot move on the whole day without reading the Bible. And I cannot also sleep without reading the Bible. Kaya, Bible for me is everything. Guys, kung wala kayong Bible, no, I know, impossible naman na wala tayong Bible. We are in a Christian nation, no? Sa school, binibigay lang yung Bible para sana, wag lang yung malik, alikabukan yung Bible but instead, we have to read it. I guess it's a proceed to the two question. Have you experienced a particular verse or passage as a compass to your life in recent days? Yes, itong ano, Itong verse na to na binasa natin sa Psalms 109 I really like this verse. No? Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. O ba Para karang nagdadala ng flashlight. No? Yung flashlight na hindi napupundi kasi God is the source of the light of that flashlight. So yun. No? We can just move on although uh, the surrounding is very dark since God is your light then. Uh, you can just move on. Second question. When are you tempted not to follow the direction the compass of scripture gives? Ah, uh, yun na sinabi ko na one thing, no? One time, hindi ko napalo yung sinasabi ng Bible. So, ang nangyari, pagpak talaga yung bake. Okay. Mas mainam talaga na 
Let's read the Bible. Follow what is the instruction. Follow what God has told you to do. I guess let's not pray. Jesus, thank you that when I'm tempted or we are tempted to drift away, the wisdom of Scripture helps bring us back. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's make the Bible as the compass for our life. God bless us all, guys, because in our child blesses 10 times better. This is again the Service TV. Kita kita tayo mga tayo sa muli. Paala!